Hey everybody, welcome back. So as I may have mentioned in another video or two of mine, we just got a new pup and she has some minor behavioral issues. She's a Belgian Malinois mix and I guess one of their known behaviors, which I did not know, is they're not very friendly toward other dogs. Now we don't have other dogs, but I take her out for a walk in the morning and when she sees another dog, she goes from lazy to crazy in about four thousandths of a second. And she turns into a clone of the Tasmanian Devil. Leaping, twisting, growling, barking, lunging, you name it, she does it. And literally, I have to sit on her to get her under control. And at first I thought I'd be able to tame her down a bit, but it's been three weeks now and she's not getting any better. So somebody suggested to me that I try a training collar and they usually respond pretty quick to that. So that's what I have here. It just arrived from Amazon, literally not half an hour ago. This is the Boosnik, B-O-U-S-N-I-C, P collar 320. And I got this on sale at Amazon just like yesterday for $29.99 and I will put an affiliate link below. I thought I'd share this with you. I paid for this of course. Nobody gave this to me. And um, let's get it out. I know it needs to be charged but let's take a look at it and I will show you their, their listing at Amazon as well. So a remote training collar. Apparently this will work on dogs anywhere from 15 to 120 pounds. And stay around for the comedy because I wouldn't do anything to my dog that I haven't done to myself. So I am absolutely going to put this on my own neck and zap myself. So let's get it out. Of, let's get it out of the box. Let's first go over to Amazon and see what they say. Then we'll get it out of the box. Okay, so here's the listing over at Amazon's website. You can see I purchased this on July 6th, which was yesterday. I'm recording this on July 7th, and I plan on using this on our walk tomorrow and we'll let you know how well it works. Dog training collar, upgraded thousand foot remote, rechargeable waterproof electric shock collar with beep vibration shock for small medium dogs, 15 to 120 pounds from the Boosnik store. I'm sure I'm mangling that, but that wouldn't be anything new for me. 40% off, $29.99. I looked at a bunch of different of these. Some of them are, are like 15 bucks and got pretty bad reviews. This one gets 4.3 star reviews of 1,357 ratings. The one I got is black. Um, there's a picture of it here. Um, three training modes, beep mode, vibration mode with eight different levels, and static shock mode with 16 different levels. Thousand foot control range, IP67 waterproof receiver. Now they just say the receiver. If you go in after your dog with the remote, with the remote that might not work well with the remote. Um, long lasting battery life and easy charging up to 60 day standby time from the remote up to 15 day standby time um, for the collar three hours until fully charged. As I said it gets good ratings 1357 ratings. I don't know what that really means anymore but um, there you have it. So Let's, as soon as it's charged, I'll come back and I'll test it on myself. Okay, now that that's done, let's get it out and let's see what's in there. And um, let's get it charged because I know it has to be charged. All right, there's an interesting charge cable. The heck? Um, oh, you know what? The collar and the remote probably need to be charged. Oh, okay, well that's neat. It plugs into a USB port and you, you can charge the the collar and the remote at once through a single cord. That's okay. I like that. The hell is this thing? Oh, you know what? That's a neon. That's a little neon tube in there. Is that neon or just like a little... I don't know. It's a little light in there. I'm betting it's neon. It's probably high voltage, so it would have to be. And then you have two wires. Oh, wires running across openings. That's probably to test the shock out. There's the collar itself. Um, and there's where the pins go in. Now on to the scary part, the manual. It appears to be in English. 
here's what it all does charging port vibration level vibration adjustable collar warning caution turn on the remote charge the remote and collar all right let's charge it first okay y'all i have adjusted this to fit my neck i hope y'all appreciate this i'm sure i don't <laughs> and um let's put it on okay there we go I want to do shock level one, so I want to hold the one dog, two dog button until shock blinks. Okay, shock is blinking. I am on shock one. Here we go. All right, I don't feel that at all. I don't feel anything. Let's get the test light and test it. Let's um, test it, make sure it's working. Here we go. Shock. Yeah, can you see it? It's blinking. So it is shocking. Let me just try it across my fingers. Okay, I don't feel that at all. So I'm going to go across my fingers till I can feel it. Up to level two. I still don't feel it. I'm going to skip a few here. Let's go up to level six. Shock. Oh, all right. I felt that. <laughs> I definitely felt that. <laughs> um, let's go back to the test light and press shock. There we go. Now we got some red light going on in there. Okay. Back on my neck. All right. I'm going down from six because that was pretty unpleasant on my fingers. <laughs> so we're going to go down. Let's go to three and shock. Well, I feel it, but just barely. We're at four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely felt that. Five. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's do six. I'm not going higher than six. Oh, yeah, that is, um, all right, <laughs> that, um, that definitely works. I don't think I'm going to be doing higher than six until I test it. Um, you know what I didn't do? Oh, you know what? I didn't put the rubber things on either. Let's put the rubber things on and try it again. Let's see if it, um, if that stops it. I'm going to leave it set to six. There we go. All right, so we're still on six. We're still on shock level six. Let's hit it and let's see if I can feel it through those rubber things. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not very pleasant. Um, let's try vibration. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's vibrate one. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not sure there's anything left to do except to... Um, put it on the dog in the morning and we'll go for a walk and come back and we'll let you know what happens okay here's the little monster with the collar on you can see it down there it's not too tight I can get my fingers under it come on look at the camera don't be shy and I don't know how I could hold the camera hold the remote and the leash at the same time so I fear I'm gonna have to leave the camera behind and just report to you when I get back Okay, so I just got back from my first walk with my crazy little dog with the, what did I say this was, Boosnik or something like that, um, collar on her, and I got to say that my results were not spectacular. I had this on her fairly snug, and you can see she's a 31, 32-pound dog, and that's where I had it set at, and I'm six foot four, 240, so you, 230, so you can see about the size of that and there's enough strap on there I swear you could make this fit on a bull's neck if there's enough strap on it and we ran into two dogs the first one was at a distance away and I tried the beep on her which got no result whatsoever I tried the vibration on her at level four which got no result whatsoever I cranked the vibration up to level eight and while it seemed she knew it was there it didn't control her behavior at all um, we were out of range of that dog before I used the shock. 
So later on in our walk, we ran into another dog much closer, and she pulled her Tasmanian Devil routine, and I hit her with the shock at level 4, got no result. Hit her with the shock at level 6, got no result. Hit her with the shock at level 8, and got no result. And hit her with the shock again at level 10, and got no result. At that point in time, I questioned if it was working, stuck my fingers under it, and like I say, it was on fairly snug. There was no doubt that this was touching her neck. And I stuck my fingers under it, hit it, and got a pretty darn good zap out of it. So I don't know whether she just wasn't feeling it or whether she just was so, whatever it is that makes her do that, was so overpowering her mind that she could simply ignore being shocked. And by the time I got to level 10, I didn't want to really go any higher. I tested it on my fingers, like I said, and by then the other dog was out of range. Now I'm not sure what to do. Do I um, crank the level up even higher? Because let me tell you something, that's bloody unpleasant. Or do I try making the collar tighter? I really don't want to just hook it up to her in the house when she's calm and just start, you know, willy-nilly giving her electric shocks. That doesn't seem right. But I have to get a handle on this behavior of hers or she's going to be stuck inside and in the, the yard for her, her whole life. Maybe maturity will help, but I'm going to try it again tomorrow. Maybe I'll try the longer posts. But I'm going to read some about it and um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, I have a quick update. I decided that I had to see if she would react to it. And I want you all to know, I'm a dog lover. And this is a sweet little dog. And I just hated doing this. And I still feel like something of a jerk. But I just have to know if she's feeling it or not. Certainly, I'm feeling it. The wife tried it on six and jumped out of her pajamas almost. And um, so I put it on her, and I tried it at three, nothing. Tried it at six, nothing. Tried it again at eight and ten, and still didn't get much of a reaction. At level twelve, she jumped, and that I, I, I don't get it. Um, maybe it's just because it's going through the fur. She's a short-haired dog, as you saw from the pictures, but at level twelve, she jumped. So I guess tomorrow we're starting out at level 12. Any of the rest of you feel like jerks for doing this, but I just feel that in the long run it's going to be healthier for her because she won't, if I, can, if I can stop this crazy behavior, she can be more of an outside dog and go on walks and, you know, do things like that rather than be confined in the house and the, the yard the rest of her life. So... That's, I guess, my justification for it. So this is day two of using the Boosnik training collar for walking my crazy dog. And as you'll see, I shortened the strap up a bit. I looped it through a couple times just so that I would have some extra in there still if I, um, if I ever needed to make it bigger. I got about four inches of extra strap in there and I cut what about five inches off maybe six inches because I'm never planning on putting it on a 200 pound dog because I'm never going to own a 200 pound dog I don't think anyway so what happened today well today was Sunday and we didn't make it off our porch before we ran into somebody else with a dog and once again she pulled her Tasmanian devil routine I had turned the collar back down to six because I really think she could feel it there and I gave her the beep and the vibrate, and that did nothing. I gave her the six a couple of times, and it seemed like it affected her slightly, but not much. By then, the other guy with the dog had gone by, and she'd settled down. So we turned out behind him. We let him go about 25, 30 yards down the sidewalk, and then we turned out and got in behind him, and she was, of course, not too bad, a little anxious and excited, but nothing... I needed to control anything with and um, so he got up in front of us and he crossed the street and came back toward us on the other side of the road and of course once he got close enough she went nuts again I had turned the shock back up to 8 did nothing turned it up to 10 did nothing 
turned it back to 12, and on about the third hit at 12, she yelped and looked at me like, what the heck is going on back here? And it completely broke through whatever that wall of insanity is when she does that. And it got her attention big time, and I, I can imagine 12 is a heck of a shock. I tried it on 12, and I would not want that pressed against my neck. But it just was having no effects on her at a lower level. So after the third hit at 12, she got the message and stopped. So I turned it back down to 6, and we ran into a couple of minor disturbances during the rest of our walk. As I was hitting her with the different shocks, I was saying no, no. And the result of this was it seems like she's paying more attention to my voice when I say no. She looks at me instead of just ignoring my existence. It also seems like she started paying more attention to the vibrator. Maybe she feels the vibrator as, as kind of a precursor to that really unpleasant shock. I still feel bad about that. Anyway, we're going to try again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Monday morning. I also ordered a chest strap for my camera. so. I may be able to take my little DJI Osmo Action camera with us tomorrow and we may get a better look at it. But I think after tomorrow I'll have a better idea what I think about this. I think it's going to work. It took quite a shock to break through that wall of crazy, but it did. And it stopped her behavior and she looked back at me, which is what I wanted, and listened to me. So, see you tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's see if the crazy little dog will behave. You behave now, crazy little dog. Come on, let's go. Is that, uh, yeah, okay. Come on, come on. No, no. No. All right, here we go. We got a dog coming up on us on the other side of the road. Let's see how crazy she's going to get. Behave yourself now. No, come on. No. No. Come. You're not behaving again. No. Why are you acting like that? No. No. Here we go. No. 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 And I gave her the vibrate, and I gave her eight and then ten. And ten seems to have gotten her attention a little bit, along with the command, no. But I'll tell you something. That, that reaction was downright mild compared to some of the earlier ones, where she would literally be leaping and twisting in the air and lunging and... Just acting completely crazy. Here we go, another dog coming up on the right on the other side of the street. All right, you gonna behave? 
Yes, I want you. No. No. See, she's already yanking and getting huffy and puffy. But here we go. They're on the other side of that van. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 Did you hear those sharp yelps? Those sharp yelps were the collar set to 12. Anything below 12 and she barely seems to notice it. 12, she notices and it stops the behavior. Honestly, I hate doing that. And I certainly hope at some point in time it won't be necessary anymore. So there you have it. That is my review of the Boosnik remote training collar. Does it work? Absolutely. It works exactly the way they say it does. With the beep, the vibration, and the shock. Will it change your dog's behavior? I'm willing to bet it will. It certainly is, seems to be changing my dog's behavior. It certainly gets her attention even through that crazy act she pulls when she sees other dogs. Whether or not you want to use something like this on your dog, that is a decision you have to make. I certainly wish I did not, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.